Now, generally, coaches will ask for feedback at the end of an individual session. The research tells us that that's often done verbally. How was that session for you? And what we invariably find as coaches, when we ask our clients for individual feedback in that way, is clients tell us, oh yes, that was great, fantastic session, thank you very much. That tells us very little about what we've done well and that they've appreciated, found useful, and very little about how we might adapt, flex our approach with them as an individual in the next session. So here are some thoughts about the way that you can gather feedback that would start to help you to understand how you change and adapt with a client. The first thing, when we've asked that general introduction question, we've almost just set the scene and got permission to gather some data from our client. The follow-up question might be, oh, thank you, what specifically did you find most useful in the session today? And of course, when we get the feedback from our client, we make some notes, so we gather that as accurately as possible. And the second thing that we do is we express some gratitude because what the client has done is offered us a gift. And that gift is for us to take away and to reflect on, not to engage in a further exploration, to unpick it or explore it. Now we want to flip that on its head. What are the developmental points that we need to be taking away? If there was one thing that we could do differently next time that would make this session even more useful for you, what would you suggest? So here we're giving the client permission to give us developmental feedback. We've asked them to narrow it down to something which is specific and to an individual piece of feedback that enables us to once again capture that, accept it with grace and with gratitude as a gift, and then take it away to reflect on. Thank you.